The Large Hadron Collider known as CERN was turned back on this month on July 5th, 2022. Since then, some strange things have been happening. I'm not claiming these events are directly linked, but CERN is the largest machine on Earth doing the largest experiments ever created, so the possibility of it setting off something within the natural forces of the Earth are absolutely possible. CERN themselves even admit that there's a possibility of creating quantum black holes, so who knows what such a machine could do. Here's some of the strange events. July 17th, strange red lights glowing in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Definitely an unexplainable event according to natural reasoning. I made a whole video on this I'll leave in the description below. July 21st, the Hudson River mysteriously starts bubbling. Bubbling water seen along the Hudson Bank at Bowline Point Park is puzzling local environmentalists. The State Department of Environmental Conservation so far can't pinpoint what caused the bubbling water along Bowline Point Park. Locals who grew up on the Hudson say they've never seen anything like it. Cramsey shared the video with the environmental group Riverkeeper. John Lipscomb is Riverkeeper's expert on the Hudson bubbling along the shoreline. Some, I've never seen anything like it in my life. I've been around the water my whole life. July 22nd, mysterious pink glow in the sky over Mildura, Australia. After a lot of attention on social media, a quote source of light came out, attributing the source of what was lighting up the sky to a cannabis facility whose blackout blinds were left open. I could be wrong, but I'm not buying that story. The light seems to be shooting straight up as from a source and not just leaking out the side of a facility with its blinds left open. That would have to be a massive facility with every blind left open to light up the sky that much. July 24th, Sakurajima volcano erupts in Japan. A level 5 warning, the highest warning possible, leads to evacuations around 8.05 p.m. local time. Now this is one of Japan's most active volcanoes that actually used to be an island but became a peninsula after an eruption in 1914. The eruption hurled large rocks as far as one and a half miles south and sending up plumes of smoke and ash. None of these events can be directly linked to CERN turning back on, but it's also hard to say what causes any of these events. Even for a volcano that erupts often, who knows what a supercharge of electricity at CERN could do to seismic activity and magma under the surface of the earth. These events are very strange indeed, and while strange events go on while CERN is active, I think CERN can always be looked at as a culprit leading to other strange phenomenons. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and God bless.